I have been preaching for years that pro team does not matter and people would scoff at me. Why? Because the science dictates otherwise. You need one gram of protein per pound of body weight in order to build muscle, correct? And if you're a bodybuilder, increase that to two grams per pound and now you're really building muscle. Wrong. Now, finally, in the last five years, all the science that I'm gonna to present to you forward is gonna prove what I've been saying for over a decade. I noticed from tweaking my diet so many times that protein did not matter, that I got the same results from a cup of rice that I did a chicken breast. I kept telling people it doesn't matter because it didn't feel like it did. I tweaked my diet every direction you can possibly do for many years. Study number one. Speaking of rice, in this eight week study, they gave 24 grams of rice versus 24 grams of whey protein. And guess what happened? Nada. They had the exact same result. If anything, rice still outperforms protein because rice builds glycogen. If you're eating a piece of chicken breast without rice, you don't have that pump, you don't have that fullness, that energy to, to move forward in your workout. Study number two, more protein equals smaller and smaller amounts of benefits. So then you have to ask yourself, if in this study, the more protein they gave, it gave smaller and smaller amounts of benefit, we can understand that building muscle is actually based off calories. It's not based off, I've built muscle eating pizza. Literally. And if I eat the right amount of pizza, I'll look lean and shredded. And I, if I eat the insane amount of pizza, I'll bulk. And it will make no difference if I ate the same amount in steak. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It is proven that that is a fact. In 2025, we've finally got to a place where what I've been telling people for years. This is why I tell people, do not blindly follow science. If you want to do science on diet for nutritional standpoint, no problem. But in terms of anything that involves building muscle and fitness, it does not belong. And if you don't believe me, then how was I telling people for 12 years this based off my personal experience? And now finally, we realize that all the science from 15 years ago, 20 years ago was dead wrong. Now in this second study, they determined one gram of protein per pound of body weight did the exact same thing to the body as two grams per pound or even 0.5 grams. Now, do you guys remember the good old science that they used to have the, called the anabolic window, eating just before your workout and eating right after because there's this window of anabolic where, where everything sort of is, is working in your benefit. You remember that science? That was fraud too. There is no such thing as an anabolic window. Take a look. Now, what is my diet philosophy in this case? Just eat. If you want to get shredded, it's simple calories in versus calories out. You can build the same amount of muscle on pizza that you do on steak, if not more, because pizza has carbohydrates, which has glycogen. So ultimately, I would say pizza has the advantage over a piece of steak. That's just the truth. If you wanna build muscle, eat more. If you wanna get lean, eat less. And for some people, eating less might be eating less and less and less and they're almost eating nothing because their metabolism is no good. And that's fine too. Everybody's gonna find a different number according to how their body simply responds. But what we do know now is that your protein intake doesn't matter. Even better is what I've been telling people for all these years that those protein powders are a lie. I've been telling people that for years, just eat a piece of chicken. Not only does your body not need the protein, but your body doesn't use it the way it does a piece of meat. So what's the final take? You've all been lying to. For me, this is a very gratifying experience to see the science finally catch up to what I've been personally experiencing with my body. This is the beauty of science, it's always evolving. Now, I don't always follow science blindly, but I use it. If I follow science blindly, I never would have learned what I learned about my body in those previous years. So don't bother chasing grams of protein for fuel and recovery. 
eat a balanced diet with carbs, proteins, fats, eat what you want and just eat less and eat more accordingly and you will build muscle and you will also lose fat depending on how many calories you are taking in. If you want to get in peak physical condition and get your hormones perfectly optimized naturally, link below. Until next time.